Jungle Beats Radio. <laughs> and we're about to uh, do a little reaction <laughs> to... <laughs> You gotta introduce him. You gotta introduce him. Yeah, I don't know shit about this guy though. Okay, well I do know I do know more than shit than you do. This guy uh, is apparently like I don't know if he started grime, but he's the first artist from the grime genre that got a good name for himself and got a solid fan base, and a lot of people followed suit from this artist. We're talking about. Is he like the pioneer of grime? Um, as I said, I'm not like uh, someone who listed a lot of grime, but in terms of what I hear, yes, he's a pioneer of grime. I don't know. I don't know what to expect because I'm. I don't really listen to grime. Like, um, did you listen to Skeptus Kanichiwa? So yeah, I did listen to Skeptus. Mm. He, Skeptus really the the person who introduced me to the whole grime genre. Same for me. Sounds cool to me. I mm-hmm. like British rap. Mm-hmm. I don't know much about grime, so these reactions will be just. I don't know what to expect. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. First track is titled "Birds and Bars." Oh shit! We're gonna get some fucking bird fucking ad libs and bars. With fucking motherfucking owls hoot 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 on the top of that shit. He's up, man, man, a remix. Then I came true with a bars of wing, cause I'm a realist. Can't go against my scene, even if you're the realist. I based my career on proving myself to non believers. My name's gonna ring bells for newspaper readers. Quietly, quietly, yeah, that's one of the achievers. My bars always speak, that's grand, that's grand, the ultimate fame. Constant winning, I won't take a day. Very short. It reminds me to skip the song. Lyrics, but lyrics, bars. Is that what it was? Is this still part of track one? Holy shit, we're still on the first track. Yeah. If I want to bring 25 MCs out, I'll bring them all. Trust me, daddy. Trust me. Trust me, daddy. This is Jungle Beats Radio, Daddy. Uh. See energy's floating. Okay. Fuck, that was a long ass one. I didn't expect that to be so long. Ooh, that was two tracks in one right So my there. phone doesn't show me the duration of the song. That's why I don't know. So, but in any case... That's a strong opener. Strong opener, and then he cuts it in the middle. Feels like another track, mm. but then he kind of slows it down. All right, you ready, to, you ready to get into this album now, man? Well, you, for the, you, know what, you know what we're in for? I, I, like, this, I like the sound. Yeah. Um, but for those who are watching us instead of listening to us, we're in the studio once again that is live. So this is going out to the world. Yeah. So everything happening here, people are out there going. Like I can say three disgusting words right now and I can get trouble for it. Uh, rat, toadstool, lettuce. I'm in shit. Rebels, man. Fucking rebels. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Track two. Let's hit it. Bring them all slash holy grime featuring Devlin. Whoa. I was in the shadows, I came to the night with a pulse Because I want to be first and I'm going to be lost I've been ahead of the game, I've been ahead of the craft I want to laugh, come sailing along like a boss With a floor on that door, with a brass, I'm a striker Y'all with a pass, get my triple eight passes I'm sitting with a star, this and I'm playing No more, I'm sick of them, I'm fast Driven myself crazy, I've been in every corner I like to play, I'm a black, get my heart That's why I slap, I scream with a big tree Lean in the road, trees drop on your house The leaves never cold, trees drop on your car The window smash Too many bars, man There's too many bars, man Holy shit all I gotta say is that beat was fucking hard as fuck. Dude, when those fucking horse went, ba 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 My old cat about to lose my shit. There's too many bars, man. Oh. That's how many bars there are. That's how many. It gave me the strength to do a lot of things, actually. I'm just trying to contemplate. I just love when fucking Wiley comes to me like, It's like, fuck, man. 17 tracks of this, good lord. Well, we don't know if it's all going to be like this, dude. It's just like Run the Jewels all over again. No, they, they aren't on that level. Yeah, because Run the Jewels got bars. Well, probably more meaningful bars. I, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but... Track three, name brand, featuring Jeremy. Okay. Frisco. J2K. It's like some video game. <laughs> I am Mario! Oh. I came to jam and hold the vibes. I do not count the losses. Oh. I just grab on the big back. Those air horns will fire. I want more air horns in my music. <laughs> we need more air horns. Well, they're saying life, I'm a period. name brand? Yeah, I'm a name brand. I'm That's a name the title brand. of the song. That hook by that was the hook by Jamie. Whereas uh, ah, he did he did the um 
I'm a name brand. Yeah, that's right. G, just like my Nike. You want to fight me? I ain't fucking with that hook. Quite repetitive. Like yeah, I was the same. I thought... I did like the, the, the way they did verses. Like, sometimes they'd come in with a verse a little earlier than the beat was, and then the beat would come in. Like, the way the beat was structured was... Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. But you're right, the hook was pretty trash. <laughs> but, um... I'm seeing the trend, though, of this, like... The, the hooks are pretty, like, the same most of these tracks so far. Yeah, it sounded and pretty much pretty similar, like, And so the far. fast bars, you know, very street-related. That's what I'm getting for it. Good beats. Track four. It's a speaker box ting. Oh, no, it's just called speaker box. Trust me, daddy. Trust me. Trust, trust me, daddy. Trust Wiley, you know. It's a, you on a, you on a, you got a little ting going on. Don't ever stop being you. It's the only thing I know how to be. Uh, once again, for me, killer beat, fast bars. Hook was pretty boring. Is that bad now? Is it maybe? I don't Sounds know. like a, uh, like a, like an Indian hook. God damn, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be this way. It just, it just. But no, it's killer beat. Beats are, beats are all fire. Beats are all crack. Beats uh, are all uh, yak. <laughs> track five. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me a story or something. And you're just like, track five, back with a banger. So are we expecting a banger is what you're saying? Uh, oh, or maybe so he's far. maybe he's saying that like his back was sore because you heard a banger, so it's a track about how his back got sore. That's incorrect. Trust me, daddy. Oh, that's a beat, it's daddy. Every fucking time. That's backward to banger. That's a fucking banger right there. I was vibe. Dude, those violins were great. The oh, they, they got it ready. They got the banger ready. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's one of the, my favorite tracks so far. Yeah, I'm the same. I was um, actually, I was actually really loving that track because the hook. I actually really enjoyed the hook on that one. Right. So that seems like the determining factor. That seems like the determining factor, like the how good a hook and bars is. Are always there. Right. It's just the matter of the hook. Um. But so far, the album sounded, you know, we know the direction they're going in. This is it. <laughs> the direction 17 is, tracks of this. This is straight grime. He is the godfather of grime. He's showing why. He's showing why. Sometimes I feel it. Like this track, sometimes it's like, cool, I'm a little like bored of this. Like yeah. I heard this before. The flow hasn't changed. The right. beat's not changed much. But that one was just like, it was that good of a beat and that good of a, that it didn't matter. Track six, Joe Bloggs featuring New Ham Generals and President T. Can't go fishing if you ain't got rods None of them are spring legs just like frogs But man, I'm an old school like Joe Blocks Got a bit of pension, that's all When I'm older, I can live when I can't get jobs When I make a song, I ain't looking for a dog Cause man, I'm an old school like Joe Blocks Battery saver. I'm just trying this to man want to turn on his battery saver. I'm just trying to turn on my battery saver. Banger! Banger, bang. <clears throat> uh, that, was, that, that was a banger. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah, that's my thing, bro. <laughs> Joe Bloggs. Yeah. Was that the really deep dude? I love that guy with the real deep voice that like slowed the. That that's slowed the name it. of the track. That's not a person. Well, who's the, who's the guy? Who's the feature? Who's dope? President T in New Ham. Whoever the they were both good features, but I like the guy that slowed it down. It was really cool. I really like the violin in that. Oh, when, right. when, dun, when you can dun, when you can dun, play with dun, violin dun, and that type dun. of instrumentation in hip hop, and he's he's done it twice already now. Yeah, not it really makes a difference. Like on a more serious note, that that. Oh. Mixing um, the classical with yeah, the, the, the boom and bass, yeah, it just yeah. really sells it. Because it's easy to just put drums on a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy to put... I'm going to put that on a t-shirt. It's easy to put drums on a bitch. Put drums on a bitch! So when like, in a couple of years, when we start making some t-shirts, it's easy to put drums on a bitch. Say, say, say. <laughs> say, say, say. Um, But when you can experiment with some other woodwind instrumentation mm. and brass instrumentation... Yeah. You really create something a little different. Exactly. You expect it on jazz? Nah. We need to put this shit wherever with shit. Bang. Track seven, pattern up properly, featuring flow down and Jamaica B. B. Again. That's why when I go, I gotta make sure my team pattern up properly. That's why when I go, I gotta make sure my team pattern up properly. Listen. My team pattern up like mosh. Chow's up, plays a waste coat and shirt in my life now, man. I've had a sick soul for the start and I've walked in the shoes with Jermaine and Mark. I can't let anyone knock me. That's why I'm here. Yeah. So everything pattern. When the big dogs on campus. OG's killers and champions. My dog will make me a man's car. I'm gonna take pop, pop, rise in the can. Slap one out with a real top of me. Gotta make sure my team pattern up properly. Listen. When I'm on a mission, I gotta make my ting wait pat not uh, properly. New favorite song? <laughs> Is it really? That was fucking awesome. The hook was dope. I like that. Hook was dope. The I thought violin. The, I thought all three verses were good as well because they were all very different sort of. Like they still had the same grime flow, but they had different sort of. They had their own flavor on it as well. Their own artistry flavor. The, the violin to start with. I love how you keep that going. Yeah, I'm loving the violin violins in this album. It really goes well with the baggers. and the bass. Usually at this point of an album, you know, you kind of hear a lull. You kind of... But I think they're actually picking it up a little bit. I think so. I feel like the first few tracks didn't have what these tracks are having now. I don't mm. know what the difference is. I feel like while... Yeah, I can't start, put my finger on it. I feel like the start, because it is supposed to be the Godfather, maybe the earlier tracks is like more what old school grime is and here he's just like changing into what grime is today. Bit out of breath? <sighs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> mm, that water's looking good. Track eight, can't go wrong. Did I just say on. the best track was before, or is this what the best the track What the fuck now? was going on, man? Holy shit. It's the new training playlist. This whole album. Holy shit, bro. It's not a, it doesn't yeah. let the fuck up. You wake up in the morning, I'm going to go for a little jog this morning. Hell no. Nah. Chuck that song on. Nope, you, you lift the weights. You're doing sprints. You fucking climbing mountains. Put the parachute on. Fucking you want to parachute bitches. sprints. How many? All of them. All 25. Four. Uh, that, that was also... That was also a banger. Just so you know. You know what track nine is called? Uh, okay. Uh, it's called Bang. It's only a thing. It's actually called Bang. It's called Bang. Yo, well, we just had a fucking banger. About to get another one, man. No, it could be a song about how... A gun went off, bang it, shot someone close. It could be like really close and personal. I bet you weren't big. Never really. Smoke. Maybe it's so much fire. Oh, he's fucking beats. <laughs> I thought I smelled smoke. 
Give me those violins. Bang! God damn. Bang! That was a pretty good sound effect of explosions. Thank you. That, but that was repetitive as fuck. Oh yeah, that's why I was sitting down. I was like, this is a good time for me to rest. The, yeah. The chorus is dope, but I was like, oh wait. I want to replay that with the bang. I actually prefer, line. the intro was really good. The dun 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 dun. Yeah, the, the outro. But then the yeah. beat switch up, I was like, oh, it's not really what I'm feeling after yeah. what the last shit I've heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, intro yeah. hyped it up more than I wanted, like, more wanted to. It's yeah. still, it still fits in with the album. It's still a dope track, but every, after everything else we heard, it's not as good as that shit. Yeah, I felt like exactly the intro didn't set up the drop um, kind of well enough, or yeah. executed well enough. Um, just my two cents. Uh, Track 10, yeah. You Were Always, part two, featuring Skepta Whoa. and Belly. Holy damn. And Belly's work with The Weeknd. Yeah. I don't know. How and we don't know about will, Skepta. I don't know what this will sound like. Who's now? I spaced out during the whole uh, thing. Much needed change of pace. Uh, boring as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I, I spaced out during the whole song. Mm. I think that the album needed this though. Yeah, but it's it's strange just to not even. It's literally just going from a hundred to, to a zero. Mm, there was still a bit of a bit of a bounciness to it. It was a, it was a suddenness. Oh, okay, a little little trap instrumentation. I, well, but everything else that was before that was just so much more banging. That's what made it like so little. Um. Yeah, I, I honestly thought Skepta would be one of the harder hitting tracks, but I guess Skepta wanted to be on one. I of the thought more. so too. Yeah, I yeah. would think. Because they referenced Skepta a lot during this album, and um, they thought they'd put him on a banger. Now I'm like, I'm sitting down, I'm calmer. Like, are you really oh, gonna try I and know. get me back up? Is <laughs> this that? Is this album gonna really? Well, there's like six more tracks. Surely there's another banger right here. I'm sure there is. Uh, track 11 on this featuring Chip, Ice Kid, and Lil D. Oh, okay. What the fuck is Now you got me up. Do that again. Holy shit. Do something with that. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't. I'm like, do something with that ending. Do something with that ending. And then he just stops the song. But that had me seated the whole time. Cause, you didn't cause, dig it? No, it's not that I didn't dig it. It's because the setup, the setup of the song before, of track ten. Oh, it just wrecked everything going on. Well, it's just how I. T- I feel I like if interpreted that, if, it. If that track we just heard there, why isn't this track before the track we just heard before? I ain't got the answers. Oh, sorry. Poor. That was dope. That was a dope track. Yeah, I ain't got the answers, but um, yeah, just the way the setup from track eleven it's, to track twelve, it was a. Uh, there's got to be a reason. I see. I think people always say there's got to be a reason. I think a lot of these artists sometimes do like they don't put a lot of thought into things. I don't it's think just like, oh, this is Skepta. I don't want to put a song with Skepta right at the end of the album. It's gonna be somewhere near the middle. I really think some artists would are gonna be lazy with with kind of the approach to like a track listing compared to like how they make the song. Um, mm. I know if I was an artist, that'd be one thing I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be slack on anything. I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe they. I just don't think every single artist with at least 50k audience, mm. you know, takes 100 percent care. I might have a look up and see, like, maybe maybe he didn't fit anywhere else in the album. Maybe he thought that where it was was better out of anywhere else. I don't know. Maybe he just feel like, maybe the song is a need on the album, the fact that Skepta's on the album. Yeah, just because, exactly, I think that's it. Mm-hmm. Just to say Skepta's on your album. But Wiley was on Skepta's album, so... I'm in any case, sure. track 12. Yeah. Bait Face featuring Scratchy. Okay. Walk in the place like everybody's better than me. Mmm, psych. Yeah, that's psych. Right. I can ride with him as good as I ride bikes. Small bikes, man. I was a snoozer. Yeah, I, I liked a bit of the production, but Hook was probably repetitive again. The verses were pretty... I feel like that that track, I'd already heard it sort of thing, so... It didn't hold me like a lot of the production and a lot of the, everything else. It just it, it didn't hold me. I, I You know, it, it fits in, I guess, but it's filler to me. Oh, we're talking about like a... Yeah, filler. Electro- it's and it's like a new kind of electronic type. I think some people will fuck with it because oh, it's yeah. kind of electronic. And it's different. It's, it's different. It's got the, still that grimy sound, but it's quite different production yeah, like to like, the album. You know, it feels like a... Uh, how would I describe it? A, a, 
a twenty like a, it's a in a more advanced beat for its time. Yeah, like it's advanced grime. I think it caters towards a different element of grime because there's probably artists out there that fuck with beats like this. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, but not us. Track thirteen, my direction. Oh, mate. I don't know if that's a clarinet or a, a, a bassoon. Like, whatever that... A bassoon? Yeah. Sound like baboon. <laughs> it's like a... I think it's like a long... It's what a instrument more is version. she learning? Uh, what Kathy? Instrument, the, dun, dun, She's dun, dun, learning dun. the bassoon. It gave it a sort of like a silly feeling, like a carnival feeling in a way. It had like that sort of comedic sort of to it, but it still had that back... Like, I wasn't a fan of the hook again on that song, but I really liked the beat on there. The beat was dope. What you doing, son? Uh, checking out the next track. Oh, okay, son. Yeah, that track was all right. You know, it you was weren't cool. Feeling it? it was cool. I, I was, yeah, I was vibing to it, but it I wasn't new, just like it, it, didn't, it didn't get me going fucking hard. No, like not every track has to, but um, just a different type of vibe and instrumentation. Uh, track fourteen, like it or not, featuring Breeze. Every 60 seconds or so in that song, there'd be this weird goat sample. <laughs> that shit, what is that? I thought that was a dope fucking track. You know what I realized though? I reckon that once, like, what are we, 14 tracks in now? Yep, exactly there's probably, 14. There's probably four tracks I could do with that. I feel like at the end of this album, you could probably change it to a 17 track album to like a 12 track album and have a better effect. Because I do feel like some of the tracks we are hearing are filler. Agreed. And you notice that mm. a lot in these longer albums. We've noticed it all throughout 2016. It's 2016, bro. I said um, it's 26 damn, um, bro. Kid Cudi's album was the same. Like, most yep, long yep. albums, except Run the Jewels, was yep, that's fucking the, that's flawless. That's the exception. Don't take anything off that motherfucker. It was great the way uh, it is. Not everybody can can do a Run the Jewels. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody. Everybody, everybody trying to be Mike, man. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Track 15, Lucid. Oh, what is that? Oh, what, what is that? Get the xylophone out, baby. Okay. Yo, and lyrically, that's one of the tracks I actually paid more attention to. You notice at the start, he was really trying to, you know, he's talking about bringing his genre yep. up, making yep. them more relevant. Actually, spinning some fire there, a hook that's very catchy, and actually going with the verse of the song and the beat build up on point. Uh, this isn't filler. The other tracks before I feel were. This is this is the stuff that I'm, I'm wanting to hear from Wiley because I'm not familiar with him, but this sort of shit this is the shit I fuck with. Right. Some, I don't know why the lyrics caught me this time. I don't know why. Maybe because it wasn't as hard hitting, but it was in that middle ground and I was able to it listen. It was. And maybe also because of the tracks before have like softened you down a bit. So you're like, I, you probably had more time maybe, to pay attention maybe, as well. Maybe. And it was, I think it was going as fast with his flow. Ooh. He's very talented with his <laughs> flow. <laughs> right. He's going ham, man. Track 16, Laptop featuring Manga. So I find that most of the tracks that are on this album that aren't fitting in fit in with each other. Like this fits in with the Soul Town Fell already, which we thought was a bit weird as well. So would you drop that after or before the album? Either way is fine. I'd say before, so I'm happy with love, but then again, if the album's better, then it's kind of. I'd say before. I'd say months before though. Like yeah. these are like leftovers here, it happened. Yeah. I know definition of bad, so once again, I think it's just a different aspect of uh, drive that we just don't like as much. Because it's very different to everything else we've got. Yeah, the instrumentation is experimenting with is different. Lyrically, one of the weakest tracks on the album. Um, a laptop. That, that, that instrumentation, I was really trying to key into that and listen to it. It's like a, a video game type of like... It kind of gave me a sort of a an Asian feel as well. Like dun, 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 Yeah, yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. I feel that too. Like a Japanese type of like... 
Like yeah, background sort of yeah. thing, like in like a movie. It, I don't think it suits his his aggression or his flow or his yeah, mannerisms. Yeah, I wasn't feeling it either, but I do like what they were trying to do because it is quite different to a lot of the stuff else that we've heard. So I do like the direction. Didn't like the track. We on last track. Yeah. Oof. This has been fun though. I didn't expect to like this album as much. Yeah, it's been an experience. It's been good. I uh, will talk about it after this one right here. Mm. Uh, track seventeen, last track, P Money remix featuring P Money. Ah, he's from New Zealand. Is he too? He's a producer from New Zealand. He's done a... He, he did a bit of stuff with Scribe. Uh, that's all I know. Ah! Do I have to get up for this one? Come on, let me, let me fucking sit down. That's it, man. Fuck up. I said I thought it ain't funny. That's why I practice, so I stay on point of P-Money. Because all I want to do is to my name at the top. It's like I can't... Like I never heard that I got ears in my hearing. Any pussy test, I was fearing. No, man, I got one bag of check. They got one bag of please when you play around here. Ask them what they're doing around here. Because if they want a bit of money, Said I'm on a way to get rid of guys I'm known for rolling with man Let's get away Scrams on guard But now I shot right First 10 years she I was on a block hype Some MCs are alike But I'm not like none of them And I've had wars with a ton of them Nobody's ever gonna do What we done again Put me in any scene I end up running it My crew winners We end up sunning them Cause my girls stand on the front line Ready for the war In the cold or the sunshine You wanna start screaming Jack, Jack, Jack I'm not your remix Nobody know black Nigga with these guys Nobody look back Don't drink no Don't think that you're rap rock I'm gonna show you Jack and Donald's gas yeah. Go finish, go finish, go finish, go finish, go finish, go finish. Go finish to the rim right there. That's a strong finish. P Money remix. P Money. Money. That was it. Wiley, 17 track album. Mm. The. Um, probably not a good introduction in terms because it's been around for a while, but for us, uh, big shout out to uh, Joshua Daniels as well for hitting me up about checking that out. Shout out to Joshua shout for to showing Joshua. us this 38 year old from, um, from East London. Originating from Bao, got Caribbean roots in Trinidad and Antigua. Mm -hmm. Obviously, very matured artist. This is our first album we've heard from him. Mm -hmm. I've heard of him in the past, but never actually checked out a body line of work. So I heard it banged. It banged. No, it definitely did. Like, it definitely did. Mm. There's one track on there with Skepta called You Were Always, track 10. That shouldn't be on there. There's probably opinion. another, I think there's another four or five tracks. Oh, yeah, agreed, agreed, agreed. If I put it all together back into like a good comfortable 10, 12, start to finish, you got working, really, working out, yeah. in the fucking ride yeah. with the homies. Like, if I'm saying like, here's an introduction to Grime, or yeah. my own kind of knowledge yeah, yeah, of Grime, yeah. here it is. This would be good for the gym. Those 10 tracks, 100%. Yo, yo. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm very... Happy this album. I'll probably go back to this album for tracks, not the album. Mm -hmm. So I think all up for an album could have been better, but Wiley, fuck yeah, did your thing. I'll be going back to a lot of these tracks to fucking get wild to, to beat off to, to, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Wiley, Godfather, Jungle Beats Radio, first reaction review. Uh, appreciate you <laughs> and you.